afternoon. Uh, it's Steph from Good Karma Training. I am just doing a little bit of come place and down and uh, door distraction training with Senor Charlie. We're partially decorated here for Christmas. And if you hear like a crunching sound, it's because Bali, my own personal dog, is chewing at a bone. <laughs> so it's kind of gross, but he's really into it. So um, it's good because it's good distraction for Senor Charlie here. Voila, you see him? And i uh, got a little Christmas music going on. My son and my husband are in the family room, so they're doing a little family distraction kind of stuff, you know, talking and giggling and playing and stuff. Um, so it's authentic in the sense that that's real family life and that's the type of dog that I'm training. Family dog. Charlie has a behavior where he um, will bark um, and jump. Um, at the doorway and on guests. So he's primarily here to resolve that. He arrived knowing um, basic obedience commands, but not actually doing them. So like, as long as you had food in your hand, he was good to go. Um, but if you take food out of the situation or he's just simply not hungry, um, he would blow off the command and just be like, whatever, deuces, I'm out of here, which is horrible. And I know a lot of you guys struggle with that because it's not bad in the sense that like, uh, he was originally, you know, clicker trained with food and treats and excitement and stuff. And that idea, I think, is it, it's great for certain types of dogs. It's not really great for a dog that decides that they're going to blow off the command. So the idea is, you know, you can set the foundation with those tools, um, food and excitement and clicker and that kind of thing. Um, but ultimately, with certain dogs, many of them, in my experience, uh, you do need to set up some kind of like negative reinforcer to let them know it's not acceptable uh, behavior to be... Uh, blowing up commands and not being obedient. Um, in particular, it's really not appropriate to be jumping on people, um, especially like family kind of people who bring kids over during holiday events and what have you. He's a big dude. He's about uh, the same size as Bollywood, so he's very leggy and um, probably about like 75 pounds right in there. Uh, he's a big guy. So uh, when he is just regularly on leash, his behavior, his instinct is to like jump up and bark and stuff like that. And uh, mostly at people so far that I've seen. Charlie moves. Hi, Charlie. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna tackle his leash reactivity issues, um, but that's gonna be a little bit later after I establish all kinds of really like awesome calmness and the stuff that I do wanna see on the, on the inside of my home. And so, the chances are higher that I won't see a lot of shenanigans outside. So here's the scoop. Um, he's gonna do come place and down. Uh, he's working on between a two and a three. I can highlight it so you guys can see it if you can't. Not sure. Anyway, we'll work him on a two. So if he goes bananas at the door, all I'm gonna do is just turn up the dial and press the button down um, and handle it, right? And uh, you know, if he chooses not to, that's really great. Then that tells me that he understands. You know, I've had to correct him um, previously for doing that. So there's a chance that he's just kind of like, meh, no big deal. When I did have to correct him, I corrected him on a 34. So it was a pretty intense correction. And he understood like, oh, I don't do that at this house, right? So in order to create that pattern of behavior, when he goes home, the owners are gonna have to just turn up the remote. You know, like, don't look at the number, turn up the dial, correct him. I mean, you don't have to be like yelling at him and stuff. He doesn't, he doesn't need that. Most dogs don't need them, to, you know, like any kind of yelling or anything like that. Just tell him no, press the button down, end of story, no drama. So um, we're gonna let you see his, uh, his awesome work. He's really good at come place and down. He's a great dog. Okay, stay tuned. Good dog. Down. Good. See? No resistance with 
Uh, where I ultimately did correct him. Hi. Nope. Down. Good dog. Uh, so that's the scoop. That's his update. He did get corrected for barking, and he no longer chooses to bark at the uh, doorbell, which is pretty great. And he's still Charlie. Charlie, okay. Good boy. With his little wiggly butt. Yes. Come on, Kevin. Come on. Come on with your wiggly butt. Nope. You see? Excitement. Not getting us what we want, right? Please. That is, though. Good boy. Nope. Please. Good, good dog. It's a process. He's not perfect. Neither am I. Oh, I just burped. Gross. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Place. Thanks for watching.